Hey, what's up? Um, so I made um, my most popular video is remote viewing, uh, or the, remote viewing the pyramids of Giza, and it's really shitty quality, honestly. So I kind of wanted to make the, remake the video, but yeah. So I, yeah, I was on like the top of a mountain when I recorded it, but <laughs> I was thinking it was a good idea at the time. But yeah, so um, when I remote viewed the pyramids, it's it's happened. I think one time before that where I remote viewed a pyramid where I think I talked about in another video where I was actually high um, and I laid back in my car at the time and the sun was hitting my face and hitting my forehead and that probably had some effect on it too but um, I saw this like green slab in my in my remote viewing vision and it just went like boo 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 and it revealed this pyramid that it was like multi-leveled and it looked like a, the a Mayan pyramid. And I'm pretty sure it was because once the, the green slab hit the ground below this pyramid, it kind of sprawled out into this jungle that was surrounding this pyramid. Um, and that, that was really cool. And then um, I think I didn't like uh, that time I didn't go directly into the pyramid, but I remember going through tunnels like right after that. So I'm guessing that those tunnels were connected with that pyramid and the, the tunnels were shaped like triangles. And it was like, I think it was if I was going up, it, the triangle was shaped like this um, or it could be the opposite. But it felt like if I was going up, the triangle was one direction. And if I was going down in the tunnel, it was shaped in a different direction. It was like upside down or whatever. Um, yeah, but remote viewing the pyramids of Giza was, was really, really cool. And I've actually saw them again recently. Um, I haven't, I used to try and connect with the pyramids of Giza all the time, but I just recently, they, they popped into my head while I was in a meditation and then I saw them and they were glowing green, like really, really bright green. Um, but yeah, the, so the first time that I remote viewed the pyramids, I was meditating and um, it was back when I would remote view, and I, I do this most of the time too, but I just let my mind go and I'll just see whatever I, whatever father or source wants me to see, you know, or whatever my angels want me to see at the time. But this time, um, a while ago, I was like, what happens if I select a, an objective or select a target to remote view? And then I was like, okay, I'm going to look at the pyramids. And I, I started seeing them. And, um, I saw the three and then all of a sudden I started like looking over the top of the pyramids and looking down from like a bird's eye view and seeing kind of like the X of the pyramid. And then I actually went through the top of the pyramid and I remember it felt like a vortex of sorts. And I think, I think I was looking at it from almost like a, I was looking at it, but also feeling it at the same time, but I was looking at it from an outside perspective and they kind of showed me how the, the pyramid itself, it's only like a, um, a crest or like the, the top of what actually the structure is. And what I think is like a huge city type structure, but it looked like a big cylinder, like a huge, like two or 3000 foot cylinder going beneath the pyramids. And, um, just that, that try the pyramid piece was only like the capstone. That that's the word, the capstone of this cylinder. And yeah, so I went down through the top of the, the pyramid and down through the cylinder and I don't know if the cylinder went down farther. It probably does. Um, but it was massive. And it, it, like I said, it, I probably went down 2000 feet at least. And probably more than that. Um, cause I think the pyramids are like, what, like 400, three or 400 feet tall. And then it was probably like, probably like 10 pyramids stacked on top of one another, at least for the around, yeah, around there for how, how tall it is. So maybe like three or 4,000 feet deep. Um, but I got to this point and it was like, there's these different branches of tunnels, um, like different directions that you could go in these tunnels. And I went down this one direction and um, I remember hitting, like coming to this door and this being opened the door and it looked like a dwarf and uh, I was like a, a being that had like a beard and lo looked like a, had a, like a more intricate face, more uh, 
shaped face and, and rounded nose type thing um, and a big beard and uh, as soon as it opened the door I kind of like burst through because I was like so excited and um, I wasn't like very calm uh, while remote viewing at the time but I burst through and then I remember I don't remember I'm sure there was some sort of communication on a different dimension, but I didn't don't remember saying anything to that to that dwarf. Um, he just maybe he was some sort of like gatekeeper or whatever, and he let me through. And then on the other side, I I went farther down the tunnel, and um, I do remember the feeling of it was like I was going underneath the Sahara Desert, and th like feeling after I came out of it, like there's a lot of stuff underneath the Sahara because. Um, yeah, I, I got to this room and it was like this underground town where this there was like light shining through and it was like this blue light, this like blue, uh, blue, bluish white light that was shining through. But I know I was underground, so I don't know how that light source was coming through um, some sort of higher dimensional energy or whatever. Or maybe it was just this space was on in another dimension. It could have been physical, too. I don't know. Um, but it was like this big oval shaped room and there was, um, all these houses. There's, it was like kind of like a cliff drop off. If you can, can think of like an underground cave with like an aquifer underneath it, that's how it looked like. And it was in this big oval, oval shape and there's all these waterfalls going off, but there's like all these little mini houses and they had all, uh, these lanterns that, um, were glowing blue, I think. It's been so long, um, but yeah, they were like glowing blue and these waterfalls were coming through them. And I remember standing on the edge just thinking like, oh my God, this is so cool right now. Um, but yeah, I, I think I came out of the, the remote viewing after that, after I got to see that. Um, but yeah, wonderful experience. Um, I've had a lot of dreams related to Egypt too. Um, and... I don't really know what this room is, but I, I've gone to this one room in particular, like close to 10 times at least. Um, but there, there's massive, massive caverns underneath Egypt. And I remember, I remember uh, a few times where, and I think it was before I found this room. And then after I found this room, um, then I started just going to that room, um, without even thinking about it, without e like knowing the, the route or whatever. But yeah, I remember going through and like seeing these massive caverns and tunnels and like bridges and, and it all being underground and like having a very Egyptian type style with like hieroglyphs and like seamless big stones and stuff. Um, and I, I, I feel like I'm always with kind of like an expedition group or like a, maybe an angelic group that I go with to see, uh, to explore these, these Egyptian caverns with. Um, but I found this room where it looks like, it looks almost like a tomb and um, there's all these different uh these different spots in this tomb and it's like this multi-roomed tomb and then on the floor there's all the there's these spots where i don't know if there's like what what the feeling i get is like there's et's buried or like in these these tombs and um it could even be the Egyptian gods themselves, uh, gods. Like, I, I really think that the et the Egyptian gods are probably just higher dimensional beings, you know, or or just bodies, you know, of higher dimensional beings. And that's really what, what the whole concept of a body is. It's just like a, a vehicle of sorts, you know, and that's in this room that I've gone to a bunch. That's what I, I feel is like there's all these vehicles, these, these body vehicles laying there. And, um, in one of them, I saw this like computer, this, uh, like really advanced computer. And, um, I remember there's a person sitting there and they were like, said something along the lines of like, we're trying to awaken this being right now. And then they hit something on the computer and then I remember I walked over to one of the, they look like big, like rectangles laying on the floor with like some symbols on them. Um, almost like a tombstone or something like, like a headstone or whatever. 
and I remember walking on top of one and then the it started to dissolve and it turned into water and I like fell into this water and it like really freaked me out and then um after that was one of the first like second or third time I was there um and then I remember like my opinion changing about it and like having a lot of fear towards that room like what if these Egyptian gods are bad and they're like trying to like seduce me or like I don't know like like take my body or something you know and um then the next time I went there I remember trying to burn it all down and this happened a couple times in dreams where I tried to just like torch the whole place and I was with the people those people and they said like I was telling them just burn it all down you know um it's it's funny how how your own emotions can really um come into play in your dreams and how you can really paint the type of uh scene that your emotions are feeling at the time um or your, your subconscious you know but I definitely like I've been to this room so many times that and it's been so similar every time that I know this room is real on some sort of dimension and it's not just in my consciousness um but yeah it's been really weird um I've had dreams out on the Sahara before like I remember coming to uh this like rock overhang thing and see and it was I knew it was in the Sahara it was like middle of the desert and seeing like hieroglyphs on the on the side and stuff um but the last time I went I went to this uh Egyptian tomb thing uh I was I was like looking at the different headstones and this time I wasn't in fear about it because I I've kind of like realized that that fear isn't really real you know like your soul is never in it it doesn't it it can't be destroyed you know and um uh I went there and there was this new like tomb or whatever and it's kind of like this wooden box but the box is only sticking out of the ground like this much and on the top of it, it said, I remember the plaque said, um, red bearded man circa 1955. And I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Cause I have a red beard, but like the circa 1955 doesn't make any kind of sense. But, but seeing the red beard thing was like, this is a little bit weird. Like hopefully this isn't like an old body of mine or something laying here. Um, but yeah, I, that time I was with my twin flame there too. And I think I was just like showing him around like, look at this cool room that I found in Egypt. Uh, but yeah, th there's so much stuff out there, guys. And um, that's why like I, in the, the sex magic video, I talk about uh, like detaching from the physical and separating like because like once you get more and more away from the physical it allows you to have these experiences more and more and connecting with that source energy the father energy he just amplifies you in every way and wants wants you to experience experience what you want to experience as long as you're helping the collective grow and and you're growing yourself too not being a lazy piece of shit like i've been in the past <laughs> Um, yeah, but uh, give me a thumbs up, guys. Like and subscribe. Peace.